You can say whatever you want. This is Hexler Spray. If you could change one thing in the world, what do you think it would be? The twins. <laughs> and what was that? Uh, it's, not, it's not a usual answer, John. It's usually well, I'd get a younger set, wouldn't I? They've got on a bit now, so I'd go to when I was 16 when they started doing Funhouse. Really and now they're doing Xbox Live 1 vs 100. Uh, you know, they matured into 37 year old women. Mm -hmm. And uh, between them, that makes them, you know, 73. And, um, is that right? Listen, why don't ask us? Well, that's what we're going to ask. I am right, aren't I? Don't ask me. Two oh, times 37. 30 and 30 is 60, and yeah. 7 and 7 is 14. So oh, 60 yeah. plus 14 is 74. Okay. Right. Please erase. <laughs> Please erase. Oh my goodness! Moment. Oh, keep that on. That was a Carol yeah. Alderman moment, wasn't it? I'm a receptionist. I'm a waitress. Um, oh, and a mum. I should say that. You said that. Yeah, I said she's that. a mum as well. She's got a beautiful niece. I don't, I don't know your, your individual name. Melanie. Melanie. You're Melanie. Martina. Martina. I know. Martina. Unfortunately, everybody knows it's just as the twins. Just yeah. as she goes Martina. around with like an aerial on DAB radios and they say, oh, you're a good receptionist. <laughs> <laughs> that was poor. I'll give you a proper answer. Okay. Uh, I'd heal one. <laughs> make it a better place. <laughs> uh, what would I do? I don't know what I do. I probably try to change is a bloody traffic driving me mad, you know? Mm. Not, not a yeah. great thing, it's a bit selfish, but you know, I like to be able to get through the traffic. It took me ages to get to the West End today from where I live. It's not far. So I guess a lot of people go through, you know, well, well beast and that sort of thing, but, but the traffic's good. Too. Yeah, I, I did try and well beast, but I thought it'd be a bit predictable. A bit it's, boring? It's never going to happen. It's never going to happen. Like Benjamin <laughs> Nashi Yahoo. You're never going to meet him. Oh! You know, yeah. <laughs> I I love Check your coat. <laughs> Check the small print in your cone track. I, I've, I've got a fat back, you see. It's a bit, a bit, a bit like a fatty residue. It's, like, it's nothing special. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Yeah. You don't need any beauty sleep. Well, or maybe 40 weeks. <laughs> well, it's uh, obviously a good back order, but I'm in a part of you. Hey! I'm, I'm impressed. Oh, yeah, we yeah. do find him so funny. Not. Right. Oh, but we're about Pat, not Alan Partridge. Funny, peculiar. You don't find Alan Partridge funny? Yes, yeah, but, very but very so we always laugh at Pat because Pat is just making us laugh. Okay, what's your perfect Sunday? Girls, off you go. My perfect Sunday? Going out for Sunday lunch. Actually, I'm a bit boring. Do you know what I like to do on a Sunday? I like to listen to Radio Kent on a Sunday morning because they do like a little request like, show. And I like to cook some of your roast to that. That's it's nice. really nice. And That's nice. It's old fashioned, but I love it. And I take my dogs for a long walk on Hampstead Heath. Mm -hmm. And we go for a mild walk. Just me and the dogs, and I take my stereo, whatever, you know. Stereo, my walk. <laughs> uh, I actually listen out of my black. Yes, I'm very stuff. much up with the times. Uh, and uh, yeah, just enjoy, you know, a bit of freedom. Because mostly I, I do work an awful lot, sometimes seven day weeks, including jumping on planes and whatever and doing gigs. In, Mallorca and Ibiza and all over the shop. Oh, of course. So, uh, do, you do? Do, do you have any views on Sundays? Just, I like to, Take yeah. You have a, yeah, fly mm. in if I can. Mm. And then, yeah, go out to lunch. I don't like to cook. It's just me and my, my little girl, so I'm not going to cook. I'd rather go out mm. and be fed. You, because you were a waitress as well part time, you could go out and serve yourself. <laughs> Give yourself a tip. <laughs> I won't go there. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you stand on the issue of supermarket loyalty cards? Love them. For or against? Oh, totally for. What's a loyalty card? Is that a thing you do? Like a nectar card. Oh, right, yeah. Mm. I'm so for it because it Jeez. pays for my um, my Merlin pass that I've got. I don't know what that is. It admits you to all the attractions for a whole year. And I've got two of them. What, around the country or so? All of them. Thought Park, Chessington. Oh, I see. Right. Yeah. Okay. No? So the theme park. How much do you see, I don't. Buy? I like the cards, but I never use them like you should. It's three hundred pound in value. I get my points, and then that is it. That's all I do. She does everything with her card. It's great. I don't do anything with mine because so I've got two passes now. I can go as many times in the year. Oh, there you go. I, use I don't really use mine at all. Yeah. I, I, use, I get the points on it, but I don't use it mm. wisely like you should. It has so many bonuses on it, but I never use it. I use a lot of petrol. Going to work a lot, I and mean, I drive minimum seven hundred miles a week minimum. So and uh, I uh, I click for a lot of petrol, so therefore eventually I get a voucher for it, and I just literally use it against buying some more petrol, which is quite bizarre. <laughs> but I feel I'm really good because instead of paying seventy quid, I've only paid sixty for that tank because I got ten quid off. 
You feel great. Well, maybe we should be using yours for Merlin passes. But, uh, yeah. 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 I'd like to get a Merlin. Yeah, yeah. I can yeah. drive. Yeah. Then I can drive a little further to a theme park where where I can spend some more petrol. Yeah. Well, so I looked at your uh, your Wikipedia entry before I came, and then a few websites. Um, what am I doing today? Well, it doesn't, doesn't say that. Well, then, uh, there's a few facts on that. I just wanted to check with you. Okay. Uh, uh, first one is that you you used to present Top of the Pops. So. Absolutely, I presented uh, Top of the Pops in 1982 and 1983 when I worked for Radio One, and I also presented Top of the Pops in 19 no 2006 when the last one I presented the very last one co-presented okay. it. Yeah. With, uh, with a number of other DJs, so you know I've, I've only ever co-presented it. Right. Okay. It's, uh, it's just here you dressed as a woman for charity. Is that true? Did you? It might have been a record. <coughs> oh, I dressed as a woman for charity, you're right, on one of the Pat and Mick records, yeah. For oh, Help okay. on the Child, for Capital Radio Charity, I was dressed as... You were getting uh, worried then. No, I was dressed as... Well, it's a great video. I'm dressed as, uh, as Kelly McGillis. Oh, that's true. In okay. the, the Top Gun spoof remake, yeah. It's, it's, yeah, I've been dressed as a woman a load, though. I did it on Saturday mm. morning telly. Uh, I did it this morning. Uh, <laughs> just for the hell of it. So, yeah, you know. Okay. Um, so next one is apparently you based your famous haircut, the, yeah, the mullet, on uh, on Jesus's. Is, is that, that true? On Jesus's. I based my mullet on Jesus. Can't we? Yeah. No. Uh, no. And the mall. No, not at all. I based my mullet on me. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought I'd grow my hair long and ridiculous, and I did. And the more wacky it got, the more interest it got. So I left it on for. A um, okay, I found one on the website which said that you're working on a new fun house which should be for, for adults. Well, we're not working on it, we'd like to do it. And uh, the old fun house has been bought back and been bought by Challenge TV from ITV, so it's right. like Sky again, it's running. Did you know that? No, I didn't. There you go. It's Sunday morning. Yeah, it's running again on Sky. And, uh, 8.30 so in the morning, don't miss it. Yeah, Sky Plus it for a sleep. Yeah, I know. Morning Twins. Morning Dad. Right. Was there another website claimed that you're immortal? Um, actually, there might be a moral. It might be a mental. <laughs> well, that's not a word, but... Lynn, he's a mentalist! <laughs> yeah, you know, you know you're part of it. Um, but are you immortal or immoral? I'm more immoral than immortal. Nobody's immortal. Uh, I've been immoral over the years, and, um, yeah, sure. Okay, um, one says here that you only buy electrical goods which are being manufactured by Sharp. <laughs> Oh my goodness, mate! What, what websites have you been on? There's quite a few actually. Um, quite a few pet shop facts you can. Well, that's true, there, Patrick. No, it's so all good. Uh, I, uh, I, I have got a. Georgie. No, I've got a sharp something. I don't know what it is. Microwave? Uh, no, it's a knife. <laughs> there you go. I might use that one myself. Do they actually still make sharp? Close. Um, come, my pretty come. And there's um, <laughs> another one which says, uh, whenever you used to be out in Edgware, which I believe you lived once, children would follow what? you around. Absolutely, and I still live there now. And they're still following, but they're now 42. <laughs> and just odd. Don't follow me. Yeah. Don't follow me. I'd be in trouble if I didn't ask you some of our media questions, which we, we got off Twitter. Um, one of the first question was, uh, where are the twins these days? Obviously they're here. We're here. Yeah. We're here. Um, Hi. And at your, your reception and, and waitressing. Um, you know, was, did any contestants ever vomit or, or throw up on you during Funhouse? No. Not on us, but near us. They got ill, yeah. They mm. did get winded, they got sick, they got injured, they went to hospital. It was, it was probably a game show that wouldn't have been allowed today, yeah. To be honest with you, health and safety, we did some pretty mm. tough things for the kids. St. John's ambulance all flat out. <laughs> <laughs> was uh, did your your was a relationship with the twins? Was it ever an intimate one? No. Yes. No and yes. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't. I'll be honest with you. Was it just no. never even. No, she hasn't even flashed a boob at all. Do you know once. what? Yeah, the coziest we've ever got is he used to come in our hotel room. We'd have face packs on yeah. and we'd sit on the bed. Mel and I would have hot milk, a cup of hot milk, and we'd watch a movie. That is sexy showbiz. and as showbiz as it gets. Yeah. Oh my God, we're going to go there like my little sisters or my daughters. So there you go. So and good. that's our friendship. Proper, just platonic. So, so it would basically be that's it. Mm. Okay, this is too I'd more. rather have them like that as friends. Uh, well, what what was the worst game on Funhouse? The worst? The worst game? Yeah, which one's your worst game? Oh my God. Well, we played three games a show and we did 160 shows. So it was so God knows. I can't remember any of them. Oh, I can't. Right, guys, have to to oh, well, that's not a game. Yeah, well, this is the last one. That's not a game, um, is it, the go-karts? Last question we had on Twitter was, how's your mum doing? My mum? Yeah. It's doing fine. 
Very well. Yep, she's good. Probably didn't mind on this phone. And uh, Mrs. Sharp's fine. Yeah, she's fine. Yeah, okay. Mrs. Sharp's fine. And Mrs. Sharp's fine. So you have the same mum. You were just about to ask her how her mum was. Yeah, but obviously, you do have the same mum. We do have the same mum. I did that to Luke and Matt Goss from Bross, who you might remember from the I do, I do remember And I said to Luke Goss on the radio, you know, it was his birthday, and he went, yeah, birthday today, and I'm sorry, I'm celebrating like that. And I looked at Matt and go, when's your birthday? 